Again, the general idea is we're probably going to play... We're going to use, like, religion, but not go for religious victory, right? Just use religion to buff other things. Maybe go for a science victory, probably a little bit of warfare, because, of course, we're going to be playing on deity here. Um, and that's the only way you can really equalize the AI's deity advantage. We are playing standard size, standard speed, continents map, deity difficulty. We are playing as the Khmer Empire. Um, one of the two new empires that was recently introduced in the uh, latest, uh, the latest DLC, I guess, alongside the latest patch, really. Um, and we're going to go through some of these abilities over here, and then we'll talk about our map. So as a Khmer, we have the Grand Barres, Barres? Red Berets? Raspberry Beret? Grand Barres is probably what I'm going to say here. Um, which is plus through the faith and plus one amenity from entertainment to each city with an aqueduct build aqueduct get entertainment now our, our capital city here is not necessarily in as hot a spot for that um it's like in a great spot for a non-aqueduct city so we're gonna see how it goes farms reduce plus two food if adjacent to aqueduct Pow! insanity we also have a war elephant siege unit uh which I mean, that's cool. Obviously, we're going to have to use that just simply because it's super awesome. Uh, we have special infrastructure, the Prasat, um, which is a religious building required to purchase apostles and inquisitors, so it must replace the temple, and indeed it does. Missionaries purchased in this city receive the martyr ability, which grants relics if the missionary dies in theological combat. Make missionaries, have them die, get relics, profit. Sounds good to me. And then finally, our leader here, Jayavarman, which I'm sure is not how it's pronounced at all. Monasteries of the King, holy sites produce plus, produce plus two food, plus one housing, if placed on a river. Very interesting. And holy sites trigger culture, which is interesting. Speaking of bombs, we got a tip explosion. It's Willem Julius. Thank you very much, Willem. Civ 6 is back. Wait a minute. Is that a Petra start? Petra hype. Well, and then here's the thing. I'd actually just loaded this to make sure that everything was loading okay. I was just going to test the mod and stuff. And I, I saw this start and I'm like, yeah, I better just like, I, I better just keep this start because I'm sure people are going to be excited by it. Those are indeed three desert hills. And that is pretty good for Petra. However, I don't think that our capital is really in a place to build the Petra necessarily. But one of the questions is, do we settle in place? And... The question, the answer would be, uh, uh, I did, I did include Indonesia in our game. Thank you very much. I did remember to include Indonesia in the game. So it's going to be random opponents, except Indonesia is guaranteed to be in here. Um, our civilization works better if we settle one tile off a river, basically, then build an aqueduct there, and then just combo off of that. The problem is we don't get the aqueduct right away. I don't think. I think for our first city, I think we settle on a river. I think for the first city, we settle on a river. I'm open to discussion about it, but it kind of feels like that's the right thing. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take our warrior over here. We're going to move him over to, uh, to the left over here. Get a wee bit more vision. Get a bit more sense as to maybe what we can see. I don't know exactly if we'll be able to see over everything, but we're going we're gonna to peek. Okay, a lot more desert over here. Second city, ideal Petra location. We are playing on deity. Going for the Petra is insane. Going for any wonder is insane on deity. The Petra might be especially challenging, but I think that might be what we try to do. Can't you settle on the river plus aqueduct? You're right. You're right. You can aqueduct even if you have access to fresh water. It doesn't give you as much uh, normally, but here there's actually great value. I like it. Um, now we know we're going to farm here, and we probably want a farming triangle, maybe along the river. I don't know if that matters as much, actually. We could do something like aqueduct here, then go farm, farm, farm. That is true. The AI is supposed to be stronger this patch. They haven't removed any of the bonuses, so it might be more dangerous. All right, let's settle in place. I like it. I like it. Bam. Oh, we, I have to bring up my subscriber list because we're going to name our cities after subscribers. Um, Google. Drive. 
So the last few games we've been playing on Epic Speed, but I want to go back to Standard because I want the game to go through a little bit faster. Epic Speed does make it a little easier for the player because it allows you to spend more time in an era and makes your military units a bit more useful for longer. Uh, so our capital, well this is going to be a hell of a name for a capital, is going to be Chaos Lord 48. Chaos Lord is our capital. Love it. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to name this after the Extra Life Donators, just because I still have to organize that list properly. I've got to filter everything in. Um, so that'll that'll come after. The, the, the Extra Life thing, I might have to make my own little app to like do the use the JSON API to like read the, the data properly. It's going to be a little bit of a thing. Um, okay. Production-wise, I mean, I'm a big fan of starting with Tout. In the past, I've gone Scout... Slinger, because it's deity and barbarians are a giant pain in the ass. I'm tempted to go scout, scout, then slinger. And I think that's what I would do on any difficulty except deity. But I think on deity, I need that slinger second. I think it's just too dangerous. So I think I'm going to um, scout slinger. Because I think we're going to need the extra man. And that's just the way it is. Epic speed does take more turns. But because the building and the research is slower, you spend more time shuffling around your units as a percentage of your time, which is to the advantage of the player. Hey, Sparrow, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy your new policy reminder. Thumbs up for the idea. Sparrow, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it mostly. Sparrow is, uh, I guess, would be fair to call you the lead um, developer on the community edition of the new CQI. I don't know if I have to like do anything to like tweak that or not. We'll see how it goes. But there should be a new... You have a new policy reminder. Mostly, I just need it to remind me whenever I can switch policies for free. But that's going to cover, like, 90-plus percent of the Jews' cases. It's just, when I forget that I can change policies for free, I'm always kicking myself. Um, I feel like we might make a run at Animal Husbandry relatively early. Because we do have sheep and horses right away. We don't literally have to get it first. Because we're not going to have a builder in time for whatever the first thing is anyway. Um, we could focus on going, like, pottery into writing so that we can start a, our campus relatively early. Um, but I kind of feel like animal husbandry is good, especially since it leads to archery, uh, which we will probably need. And we know we can work a couple of animal husbandry spots relatively early, so I think that's going to be okay. Uh, that grand... The extra life total is amazing. Yeah, I can't believe... I can't believe... Uh, we At the end of it... We actually doubled our goal. We set a goal of $18,000 to raise for Extra Life, and we literally raised a little over 36000 We doubled our goal. Considering we made 13000 last year, we nearly tripled what we did last year. It's mind-boggling. I, I still still haven't coped with it properly. Uh, in terms of tiles to work, I think we're good with this one. Two food, two production is good. We could go for the three food, but I think I like the, the, the production. I think I'm okay with that. Um, perfectly happy. All right. I think we can next turn. I stream for 12 hours. Chat demands to rush pressure, and we all know chat is right. Well, again, we're going to peek around over here. Um, I, does anyone know? Can you build a, no, uh, uh, um, an aqueduct next to an no, no oasis for water? I don't think you can, huh? Um, I think I'll just pop into the woods here and then come south to check out the rest of the desert. Okay, there's a goodie hut up there. We'll be going for that. That's fine. Lots of desert tiles. Now, one of the problems, of course, is, you know, obviously the Petra makes the desert better. But you still have to build it in a goddamn desert in the first place. We've got some salt in the mountain there. Of course, we don't have any mountain next to our starting city. Nor do we have any significant amounts of rainforest. So, yeah, getting a good campus is going to be a little tricky. I'm sorry, did you just give me a free builder? Is that a thing that can happen? Am I aware? Like, I must have gotten a builder out of a goodie hut before. And you can do an aqueduct next to an oasis, that's nice. That's really good. Of course, I don't have any tiles for him to improve right now other than maybe build farms. And a farm wouldn't be that helpful right now. It's not going to be any better than base tiles. I think we just, like, 
bank the builder for now. We can't clear the marsh yet. Um, and some people are saying save it for moments. Maybe shut. That would be a little redundant with um, our own ability because we'll already have the martyr on our missionaries. I think clearing the marsh for a food boost later is going to be very nice. I think we just like sleep them right now. Rush mining and chop, chop, chop. You know, that's not a terrible idea. I kind of like it. I realize it leaves animal hunting you know, half unfinished, but again, we didn't need it right away. All right, let's uh, let's just put you to sleep for a little bit and see what happens then. <laughs> uh, it's KS Nugan. Thank you very much. Or KS Nugan. Uh, my MacBook crapped out on me. E, not endlessly watch you as I wait for my new computer so I can also play the new DLC. You're fantastic. Kick ass. Oh, man. Computer's breaking. Is there anything more, like, depressing and miserable than being without your computer? Oh, thank you very much for that, and I hope yours comes in real soon, and it's awesome. Speaking of awesome, this location here, Double Rice the Salt. Okay, we're going to go south anyway. Another goodie hut. Some more desert hills. Big question will be where exactly we place this first city so that it can actually build a Petra in a reasonable amount of time. Mason reboost is fine. Especially since we can't build a quarry anywhere nearby, and I think that's the boost for the uh, for masonry. Wait. Why does this have science? Is there a, a, a... There must be a world wonder? What gives science? Or natural wonder is what I meant to say. Galapagos? Which is what, an island right off the coast and gives science adjacently? Have we ever seen that before? I mean, I know that one's been in the game for a while. I don't think I've ever gotten that. Alright, um... I'm gonna sc send the scout east. More desert tiles. Um, I think building slinger's still good, because you know we're gonna get barbarians in, like, two seconds, and it's gonna be awful and horrible. It seems like a good start, but something is clearly gonna go horribly, horribly wrong, because that's the way it always goes. I'm gonna go here just to see the natural into the history of this archipelago is very remarkable. It seems to be a little world within itself. Galapagos Island. Two tile and passable natural wonder appears on coastal terrain and provides plus two science to adjacent tiles. Holy shit, snacks! Uh, and we found another continent. Sometimes it takes us forever to find continent number two. That's pretty good. Okay, well, we're going to have to give some serious think as to where the hell we're going to colonize over here. I'm going to say, this tile's probably about to pop. Um, we were going to... We're going to want to leave the forest there, because I think you can build a plantation without getting rid of the forest. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think if we build the plantation here, the forest stays there. And we want the forest to stick around for the plus one production, so we don't want to chop this forest. What we will be doing is we will be chopping this forest as soon as mining kicks in. Um, in terms of tile production with two people... Did I just accidentally fucking buy a tile? I was trying to drag the screen. Now, this is a sieve problem. Sieve... One of the things we do in our tutorial when we do Unity stuff is we actually check to see if a drag has been initiated, and if it does, we actually don't do button clicks. We, we actually ignore button clicks if a drag has been initiated. And Civ doesn't do that. The other thing it doesn't do, and this is super annoying, is if you're trying to move someone and you let go of the mouse on top of an icon, although I think this might have just been fixed. I think this was just fixed in the patch notes. Um, it would ignore the mouse click. You'd let go of the mouse and it wouldn't actually move. It might, uh, it might have been fixed for these. It might still happen for, like, um, city things. I think, I mean, we could reload from the autosave. We might, we might need to. It's kind of critical, isn't it? I think I do have autosave set to every turn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to reload from that autosave. 
it's a misclick. Misclicks are definitely worth reloading from an autosave. This early on, that would be pretty bad. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age. To yeah, man Dave, you know taking from his, his clicks, first absolutely. upright steps, you have come far. Mm -hmm. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early Sparrow, you think you can fix that with the with the DLC or with a with a mod? I wasn't expecting that. Why is Teoraman? Because I think, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the, the Fall 2017 patch notes specifically mentions something about that. Your command um, and I think it may fix it for resource tiles. Um, yeah, okay, so I don't own that tile, which is good. Because, yeah, yeah, I was trying to do, like, this to kind of just look around, and I think that happened. Um... Right, because I was looking, are we happy with the tile that's being worked here? Would I prefer to work three food instead of two food, one production, and one culture? I mean, this is four things, but growth is pretty good. I feel like I actually want to grow right now instead of culture. That shaved three turns off our growth. I think that's actually going to be much stronger right now. Oh! You're a new city-state, right? Mohandaro? I know that um, there used to be a city-state, um, was there a city-state that had, like, the capital of Indonesia? And so they renamed that one? I feel like that's something that happened. Ooh, goody hut. What's your mission? Train an archer. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. I don't know if I'd want a confirmation window in buying tiles. Oh, another goody hut. I think that's a really good number of goody huts we've gotten so far. You go stand there. We just got a second builder. At this point, I'm like, couldn't I have just gotten, what, plus one pop? That would have been, like, probably better right now? Goody Huts are builder only today? We did get a, we also got a masonry, uh, Eureka, which I can't complain about. Let's go up on his hill. We also haven't seen a uh, Barbarian yet, which feels... The game's just lulling me into a false sense of security. All right, you stay there. Well, we, we'll be mining the shit out of these hills really early. Oh, there's the barbarian encampment. Of course, there's probably also going to be one that spawns here. In any case, we're going to go for this goody hut. Ooh, anyone want to get stoned? As it turns out... Mount Kilimanjaro is not Wi-Fi enabled, so I <laughs> had to spend two weeks in Tanzania talking to the people on my trip. It's terrible. One tile appears a mountain provides plus two food to adjacent tiles. Jesus, that's a good natural wonder. It's a little far. The thing is, we can actually chill on the Galapagos. When you oh! find yourself in a hole, told you. Quit digging. And obviously, he spots us right away. So there's another barbarian hut over here. Uh, so all of our good start might be somewhat sl Yeah, that's broken. <laughs> that- <laughs> what? I just- I can't hold all these builders! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, I feel like I need to screenshot this. <laughs> uh, Kosak, thank you very much for the tip. Hey, Quill. Enjoy your recent factory runs. Dealing with network load balance recues and such at work. Nice to see someone else uh, mostly dipping around getting away with it. Hope for more. Thank you very much, Kosak. That feels like there's an RNG bug of some kind. So... <laughs> 
I feel like what I need to, to rush at this point is, like, tile improvement tech. Because, I mean, I could rush, you know, Stonehenge Shrine. I would love to found a religion. I'd love to get a holy site, especially our holy site gets plus two food along the river. No. Yes, no. Holy sites provide plus two food and plus one housing if placed on a river. That is a good fucking holy site. And it makes me feel like if we're going to get an early holy site because of that, then I should get it now and try to found a religion. It also culture bombs. We have done Stonehenge on Deity. I'm not looking to Stonehenge. I'm looking to... I'm wondering if I should go for Astrology now so I can build a Holy Site because our Holy Site is better and hope we can get a religion that way because it would be good to play with, like, religious stuff. On the other hand, with <laughs> nine charges worth of builders here, it feels like I gotta get Animal Husbandry early, uh, you know, push the borders up to there. We gotta get, um, frickin', um, uh, Irrigation early so that we can get our plantation. We're not in a position to farm a resource, though. Well, we will be soon. Like, I need an army so I can push back these barbarians, because otherwise these builders are crap. I think I will go for the holy site stuff. Let's pretend we didn't get the builders. I think the holy site would be a no-brainer. The problem is it feels like a little bit of a lost opportunity. Um, Alright, in Chaos Lord. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to get a very early settler. I'm going to queue up the settler after the slinger, and we're going to start chopping. Quill needs a settler to take advantage of the workers. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Normally, I would be building a second warrior. I'm worried I'm going to get punished for not having a second warrior. I'm going to chop. I should... No, I should probably go slinger, warrior, settler. Still an early settler. Rush that guy out. But, yeah. So there's the chop. So we get our slinger now. Who can move over here and take a shot at... That's not the Slinger. Take a shot at the Scout. Um, You have popped the Goody Hut here. So you have to come north in some... Oh, you, you that's no moves this turn. Oh, this Scout's got a promotion. I'm going to go for... Um, Ranger, it's fine. Whichever. So this Builder, just chill here on top of the Slinger. You're going to be fine. The, the Scout doesn't attack. And we can't double stack on here. Oh, I can build mines, so I guess I could move you guys out for a double mine. Although I'm worried about more guys coming. No, we should be fine if I do this. I can I can mine both these tiles next turn. Yeah, yeah. Kilimanjaro. <laughs> yeah, Galapagos or Kilimanjaro for city number two. I think we have to go here. I think Kilimanjaro is, to is totally safe. Or, the Galapagos is totally safe. I think we're going to need an early third city as well. The science boost actually gives us a much better chance of getting Petra. Okay, that is not a surprise. I was expecting that to happen. What I'm going to do, just in case, is I'm going to swing back here just to protect this builder. Although, I don't think that this scout would come in. The problem is, these guys, they're just running to aggro the camp. We're going to have a giant barbarian swarm. So, I'm really happy we're going getting this warrior, because we're going to need the help. Mine. Mine. I'm going to unlock that tile. We'll take the extra production at this point. I think that's going to be worth it, even though it does slow down our growth. If I lock you again, what do we get? Three turns versus seven? You know what? Finish the growth from this, after all. It's going to be okay. I think we just got another contribution to Whiskey and Chocolate Fun. Who's that? It's Story Wonker! Thank you very much, Story Wonker! Also, I enjoy your name. Hey, Quill, greetings from the UK! Don't normally manage to catch your stream, so here's something for the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund. I'm also enjoying some... Ah, Sortilege from Canada. Sortilege is a, um, is a maple liqueur. Maple syrup liqueur. Uh, which I assume is from Quebec based on the name, but I don't actually know. Alright, I'm going to move you into Chaos Lord here. It, yeah, for everything that's gone well, the barbarians here are going to be brutal. Let's skirt around Kilimanjaro, see what we can see. I haven't found another civilization yet, which might be a good sign. By this, best, uh, by this time, build a mine for more production? Animals. Maybe. I mean, it's kind of a poop tile Separated to work. From law and because justice. it doesn't feed people. He is the worst. I think if we're going to buy anything, it's going to work our way up to like the wheat and the sheep and all that. 
Because those are going to be pretty strong tiles once we get that tech. So we have discovered uh, Ferengi, or um, we, a second continent, so we're going to start researching Ferengi trade. Fill policy slot. Ooh! Oh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's something else. We're going to go God King for the faith, so we can get a Pantheon a little earlier. We're going to have to take discipline because obviously we're fighting our, um, some barbarians. Hit OK. And... I think I'm going to go over here, because at least I know where this guy is. And they're both aggroed, so it doesn't really matter which one I start with. And yeah, these builders uh, can mostly just chill. Unless I buy and chop over here, but I don't think I have to do that. I think they're just... The builders are going to sit where they are. Can builders fight in this patch? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, there should be the pop-up. I agree. I like that. Oh, that might be the guy we shot. No, there must be another barbarian. No, he wouldn't have traveled that far. Hello, Cobble. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm going to come to over here. What do you want? You want an archer as well? Well, hopefully we'll be able to do it. I think after astrology, we're definitely going to go finish animal hunting and probably start working on archery and hopefully by then get the eureka for archery as well from killing someone one of the nice things that changed in this patch is if your slinger kills someone on defense it does trigger the eureka for archery which is a very nice change something that annoyed me like so many things before uh it is going to pick up the wheat in five turns i think i'm just going to leave these guys here because it's a very safe location um i do want i do plan on farming here long term and i could build it now um, there's not really any advantage doing it now, because it's not going to be a tile that's worth working, even with the farm on it. So I'll just wait now in the interest of safety. If I go here, I'm not likely to get attacked by anything, so it should be fine. And you'll come over here. So these guys will, they're, they're triggered, they're going to start spawning stuff. Ooh, coffee. Uh, that's probably the barbarian encampment that just got woke. It's woke by that other scout, but I'm not sure. Or, or, we will see. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, because of zone control, I can't actually jump in there, which is kind of annoying. All right, you move here. And what, you can't attack this guy? Is that a hill? Wow, that does not look like a hill from over here. Especially with the, the barbarian shadows. Alright, uh, just bonk this guy once. And you're going to come here and not quite kill it. You might get lucky. We did get lucky! Eureka! Nice. Yeah, I'm not going to chop that force. It would help us right now, but I think we'd lose a point of production in the long run, right? I'm going to take a womp on this guy. I'm hoping that we can maybe manage to kill him, but I don't expect so. Not before he gets there. Maybe I could have moved here and blocked him, but I'm worried the, bar the spearman would have attacked me and killed my scout then. Here, I'm at least safe. Second warrior is going to finish. I think I'm still happy with that because I think we're going to have enough problems. For some reason, I thought we got another builder, but no, it's our warrior completing. I was like, what the hell's going on? Um, I think I have to pull back here so he doesn't die. And we can get this guy to move forward. Yeah, just go there, it's fine. Oh. Freaking horseman. Run away behind Cobble. So this is a horseman barbarian camp. Probably based on this horse here. They're really annoying. Barbarian horsemen aren't stronger than barbarian brutes unless things have changed. Uh, but they move faster. So they're giant pains in the ass. Ugh. Speaking of giant pains in the ass. Mm -hmm. 